Welcome to Mastering Solutions. This is a acceleration problem that we'll be solving for. And in this question, they tell us that Formula One racers speed way faster than normal cars, and they stop much faster as well. And so they give us some different information. They say that it's traveling at 90 meters per second, and it can stop in this many meters. And so they want us to know what is the acceleration as it slows or deceleration. So to do that, let's first make a list of all the variables that we know. We know that the initial velocity in this case is 90 meters per second. The final velocity will be zero because it's stopping. And then they tell us that the distance that it stops in is 110 meters. We don't know what the acceleration is because that's what we're trying to solve for. So we need a kinematic equation that includes all these variables, including what we're trying to solve for. There is, of course, which is v final squared is equal to v initial squared plus 2 times the acceleration times delta x. We're trying to solve for the acceleration, so let's rearrange this to solve for that. We're going to move the initial velocity over, so we have v final squared minus v initial squared equals 2a delta x. And now we're trying to solve for the acceleration, so let's divide both sides by 2 delta x. Now that will go away, that will go away, or divide by 2 delta x. So now we have acceleration is equal to v final squared minus v initial squared over 2 delta x. And they tell us that the final velocity, we're stopping, right, like we talked about, so that will be 0. So let's get rid of that. So now we can simplify it a little bit further then. So the negative initial velocity squared divided by 2 delta x will give us what the acceleration is. If you think about this formula, just step back for a second, we know that we're decelerating, meaning we'll have a negative acceleration. When we square any value here, that'll be positive. So it's important to keep the negative outside of the parentheses here. So this whole unit will be negative, giving us our negative deceleration. And so we can plug in our values. So we have, let's come over here to this side, acceleration is equal to negative. And we said the initial velocity is 90 meters per second. And then we'll square that whole value. Divide by 2 times the delta x, which is 110 meters. So we have negative 90 squared, and now we'll be dividing all of that by 2 times the distance, which was 110 meters. So we have a acceleration or a deceleration of negative 36.8. So we will round that to negative 37 meters per second squared for the deceleration of the Formula 1 car as it stops.